This is a demonstration on how to do mailing labels. Um, I'm going to be in a Word document, click on the mailing tab, go to the start mail merge, step by step mail wizard and choose labels and click next. Label options, there are many. I'm going to be in the label vendors, Avery US letter, and I'm going to choose 5160. If you are going to a, an office supply store, they have tons and tons of labels. You would just pick out your labels and then look for the identifier here. And this one is Avery US letter 5160, and I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to select my recipients. I'm going to use the potluck one again. I'm going to browse, go to my desktop, find my database. Remember it has the purple key. Open it and click OK. And this is what it's looking like so far. This one, these would have 30 labels per sheet that would go through the printer. I'm going to go next to arrange your labels. I need to have an address block on here. So again, I'm going to match fields. I'm going to make sure that I have the title, first name, last name, address, city, state, zip, and I want to make sure that it has a middle initial. It doesn't, so I have to click here on MI and click OK. Click OK. And as I do that now, I need to tell it to update all labels. So do you see how this is the only one with address block? If we click now, remember we have three of those, so I'm going to update the labels. Okay, so see how it says next record, next record. Now I'm going to click on next. And here's the mail merge. Now what I recommend doing on here is in completing the mail merge, Go to edit, and we want to do all three, so we'll say all. Okay, now typically you don't want to have any spacing because if we had more than three lines, it probably wouldn't fit. So if I select this by going control A and then click on no spacing, do you see how it tightens up those lines? And this would be the label. So I'm going to do a file. Save as. I'm going to save this to my desktop as potluck labels. Click save. And that would be an example of what you would put in there. I notice I have a typing arrow in here. So I'm going to go in here and just uh, save that again. But what if I use this database a lot? I would really want to get in there and save that. So I'm going to go in and edit my database. Um, but I'm going to stop this video first.